I just came home. I was planning to eat first, but I need to get this video done while I got this energy on me. I just left the barbershop. I was just, I had a very progressive, productive morning. This, this record got me in my zone. This new Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Khaled record got me. Listen. Goosebumps. I'm in the zone right now. Like, I'm just, life just feels special. <sighs> anyway. Listen. Surround yourself with progression. Progressive people, positive people, and I hate being cliche. Be careful what you listen to. Be careful what you watch because all of it goes into programming your subconscious. Your subconscious is the real supercomputer. What you think about, what you know you're thinking about, has less to do with your life then the stuff that you're thinking about, that you're processing, that you don't have any idea it's happening. And I hope that doesn't go above some, you know, people's head, but like, I just feel ecstatic about life right now. First of all, I'm starting the ex -fat boy movement. Let me, let me get that out the way. Just so y'all know, this is this is just this is more than just a t-shirt. This is a movement that I'm starting, the X Fat Boy movement. So if you plan on losing weight, I want you to order a shirt. I'm thinking about printing up a few. Right now it's just one. I just printed up one. And if you plan on changing your life, changing your body, I want you to buy a shirt in the size that you're that you're planning on being in your vision for your body. So if you plan on losing 50 pounds and be a size large, then I want you to order the shirt in a size large. And I want the shirt to be your trophy. Once you get to that size and you put that shirt on and you're officially a member of the X Fat Boy Club, like I want you to wear that with pride. I know I have a lot of subscribers who actually lost a lot of weight. So, matter of fact, let me take this moment. I have people share a lot of success stories with me. So all the guys that's telling me they lost 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds, 100 pounds, 150 pounds, shout out to y'all because I understand what y'all had, the work you had to put in to make that happen. So if you lost weight, if you used to be fat, or if you're, you know, you're on the process of losing weight, I want you to order an ex fat boy t-shirt. Shout out to all my ex fat boys. We have, we have group, we gotta stick together. I used to be a fat boy. A obese fat boy and that means a lot to me that I could say that it means it really does like I'm an ex fat boy shout out to all my ex fat boys anyway it's a movement it's not just a t-shirt it's a movement I'm starting and they're gonna look a little bit better than me this was like something that I just I did this in the crib anyway let me put, put get back to this energy that's on me right now your life is a compilation of the people you let in it, the people you converse with, the people you communicate with on social media, what you post on social media, what you allow your eyes to see in any way, not just social media, on TV, in movies, what you listen to. So make sure that whatever you're letting into any of your senses is something that's going to build you up. It's something that's going to make you smarter, make you better, make you healthier, make you think better, make you just make sure it's something that's going to progress you. Because if we just allow anything, any kind of conversation, any kind of um, visual stimulation just come into our existence, it's affecting you even though you may not know it, it's affecting you. It's affecting the way you think. It's, a, it's affecting the way you make decisions. It's, a, it's affecting your energy. And, your, and anything that affects your energy in a negative way is gonna produce negative manifestations in your life. So you gotta be super mindful of that. Super mindful of that. But this back to this Jay-Z and Beyonce record, like, I am obsessed with the idea of living elite, right? My ideal of elite is, is 
greatness. I love watching greatness happen. I love watching LeBron James. I love watching old Michael Jordan uh, highlights. I like, because that's elite. I love watching Beyonce perform. I love watching Michael Jackson. These are the, these are the people that, yeah, we see the rewards, right? But these people have put in work from some, you know, in some cases since they were four and five years old, consistently, every day, through adversity, through hard times, through sickness, through jail, through, you know, ridicule, through being doubted and abuse, like through all of that stuff. And these people come out on top the best at what they do in the world and there's something about that character in a person that it just excites me to watch i love to see people win i love to see people excel i love to see people progress in life i love to see people live in their dreams so it breaks my heart when nine times out of ten and because it's, it's rare when you know people just live these mediocre lives because they're just settling it's there's nothing more sad to me there's nothing sadder than wasted talent untapped potential just being you know just people who settle for these mediocre lives knowing that they can have so much more now when i say that i don't mean material things i don't mean that it's a part of the equation but to me success is happiness success is doing something that you love to do doing something that that you would do for free success is being in a position to help people success is getting goosebumps and butterflies you know when you're doing whatever you're doing in your life like every day I chase goosebumps and butterflies. Period. Because that's what it's a lot that's what it's about. That feeling in your stomach, that the goosebumps, that that fluttering in your chest, that 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 shot of adrenaline or that that overwhelming feeling of look up it's happening right now. That overwhelming feeling of passion. This is the stuff that life is about. This is success. This is what you should be chasing every single day. And it starts by investing into your health. It starts by investing into your health. It doesn't matter what else is going on. You can have all the success in the world, but you can't be happy if you're not healthy. You can't be rich. You can be rich, but if you're rich and you're, and you're about to die, or you're not feeling well, you can't travel the world and walk around and run and and play with your children and coach uh, your, your kids' ball team or swim in the ocean. If you can't do any of that stuff and you got to worry about lugging around medicine everywhere and you always in a hospital or you just, your, your energy is affected by the fact that you just don't feel good physically. Like, that's not what it's about, man. So nothing else matters. Invest into your health. I'm begging you guys. Take it serious. Take it serious. Don't just think about now. Yes, you can get away with eating fast food three, four times a week now at 20 or 30 years old. Yes, you can get away with it now. But let me tell you, that is gonna bite you in the ass. Once you start hitting your 40s and 50s and 60s, and you're not active right now in your 20s and 30s, and you you don't care, you know, you just eat whatever you want, and you're not taking care of your body, you are going to pay for that. I don't wish bad on anyone, but I'm just trying to get you to wake up. Understand that that path those habits that you're forming right now, those forms that you, the, the habits that you have right now, think about habitually. If you continue on the path you're on for the next 20 years of your life, what is your health gonna look like? What is your life gonna look like? Just, just give it some thought. 
Just give it some thought. Because you don't want to live with regrets. You don't want to get you don't want to get down the line and say, well, if I would have done this. Like, no, think about that now. There's so much power in just foreshadowing and, and prevent, preventing things. And we have so much power over that. We can control that. We can, right now, we can, can take control of our lives. Even if you're 40 years old now. Even if you're 50 years old now. You can still take control right now. Start reforming your habits. That whole oh, old dog can't learn new tricks is bull. It's bull. Stop telling yourself that. I don't care how old you are. You can change your habits at any moment. You can decide to change your life at any moment. Whoever made that up, that's, that's, that's BS. It's not true. It's never too late to start. It's never too late to, to get control, to reform your habits. Because our lives are basically the manifestation of our habits. Like right? Our habits dictate what our life looks like, period. So what does your life look like? What is your habits? Where are your habits going to lead you? You got to think about this stuff now. Anyway, I'm going to end my rant. I'm just trying to, I want so much for you guys. I want prosperity. I want happiness for you guys. I want health. I want success. I want you guys to live a life filled with passion. Find your thing. Find your passion. I'm just trying to share the wellness. This is my passion. So get well and get money.